you watch my channel my english magazine now the idealization of a woman this is the another feature of the elements of romanticism the idealization of women the exception to the common woman in romantic literature was the idealized women romantic writers would represent certain female characters as innocent navy bundlers of uh, perfection that needed sheltering and in some cases outright worship their admir admirers were nothing short of human haunted by them take agar alan poe's poem anable ali this is the poem by agar alan okay for the moon never beams without bringing me dream of the beautiful anable lee and the stars never rise but i feel the bright eyes of the beautiful anable lee and so all the night tight i will lie down by the side poe's uh, narrator uh, puts his lover on a pedestal enormed by her beauty and in many ways he was obsessed with their love that was more than love not even death can keep poe's narrator from loving and glorifying unable he ever insinuates that angles were so jealous of the love he and unable shared that they killed her individuality characters and their internal lives were a priority for romantic writers they gave readers access to the characters in their most thoughts and desires emphasizing the minutia that made them tick this hyper focus on subjective thoughts and experiences opened the doors for an increased perception of the spiritual and sometimes the supernatural wuthering heights in a classic example of the romantic individualism most notably in health cliff he is an example of a by byronic hero a figure in romantic literature who is miserable yet affectionate moody yet proud and defi defiant health cliff is so passionately in love with kathy that even after her death he can think only of being with her you know i was wild after she died and uh, eternally from down to down praying her to return to me her spirit i have a strong faith in ghost i have a conviction that they can and do exist among us the day she was buried there came a fall of snow in the evening i went to the churchyard it blew bleak as winter all round was solitary i didn't fear that her fool of a husband would wander up the glen so late and no one else had business to bring them there being alone and conscious to yards of loose earth was the sole barrier between us i said to myself i will have her in my arms again had cliffs loose lead to become a tortured vengeful man and much of wuthering heights foxes 
on the evolution from a solitary youth to a besotted young man to a bitter her heart broken individual isolation isolation and its accompanying uh, melancholy played a key role in the experiences of romantic characters and often their authors this loneliness and uh, estrangement from the rest of humanity gives the character a way to express the uniqueness of their experiences and thoughts john clare other called the quintessential romantic poet wrote about the beauty of isolation and nature on the farm where he spent his life in the poem ah uh, i am i am yet what i am none cares or knows my friends forsake me like a memory lost i am the self consume of my woes they rise and vanish a in oblivious host like shadows in love's friend frenzied stifled tues and yet i am and life clear characterizes himself as a long forgotten entity who receives no regard except from himself as such it's almost as though he doesn't even exist his emotions this this pirating this p this sipating to nothing for no one is there to experience them nature nature was a source of endless inspiration and beauty for romantic writers they often viewed nature as a teacher a living breathing entity a god of good uh, goddess or some combination of them all for example in the poem augurs of innocence william blake celebrate nature and its eu inspiring majesty to see a world in a grain of sand and heaven in a wild flower hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour this kind of revenge for nature is what makes mary shelley's frank frankenstein a prominent example of romantic writer writing pathetic fallacy this is an of shoot of the revenge for nature characteristics of romantic works pathetic fallacy is a type of personification we are romantic writers attributed human feelings and thoughts to aspects of nature in the poem i wandered lonely as a cloud with the title itself giving human characteristics to a cloud william wordsworth writes about coming upon a field of daffodils 10000 saw i at a glance tossing their heads in sprightly dance the waves beside them danced but they out did the sparkling waves in glee the function of romanticism literary romanticism honors universal human emotions like love loss triumph and failure these works did not center or bold religious statements or scientific theories instead they highlight a collective sense of morality right versus wrong they existed as accessible pieces of literature that featured the common man as a character to attract the 
common man as a reader the result it was that ordinary people were considered worthy of respect and even celebration romantic works also under scored the value of nature in the richness of human experience as well as the need for isolation to attain emotional or spiritual growth romanticism and other literary movements romanticism versus naturalism naturalism works use scientific theories of observation and detachment to tell their stories this approach is in many ways the opposite of romanticism which concentrates of on emotions feelings idea ideals and the singularity of life experiences naturalist literature is usually gritty and intense and outside forces like uh, heredity and the environment determine determine the fate of the characters in romantic uh, destiny and spiritual guidance influence what happen to the characters romanticism versus realism romanticism uh, versus real realism realism and naturalism share some uh, qualities but uh, realism is more about writing style whereas naturalism is a writing philosophy put another way realism is a technique to describe the way things are and naturalism examines the why things are the way they are works of realism do not embellish add on or attempt to romanticize characters situations or experiences they reflect so this is the romanticism versus uh, realism now romanticism versus uh, transcendentalism that is emotions drive romanticism which places the movement somewhat at odds with the aims of transcendentalism it is a intuition not emotion that is overreaching theme or many transcendentalist works transcendentalist writers believe that people and nature were in naturally good and autonomy and independence were crucial for individual freedom again the theory contrast with romanticism which often pits good characters against evil characters and feature deep sometimes obsessive love and co dependence writers known for romanticism these are the name jane austen pride produced sense and sensibility william blake songs of innocence and of experience charlotte bront jenny airy emily bronte wuthering heights robert burns a red a red red rose to a mouse john clare i am ottoman samuel teller coleridge the rim of the ancient mariner james fenimore copper leather stocking tales the last of the mockens emily dickson because i could not stop for death hope is the thing with feathers john wolfgang von gothe the sorrow of young weather so in this way these are the name mary shelley frank kenston william wordsworth i wandered lonely as a cloud the prelude so lord byron don jura john john keats or to a nightingale washington ivory the legend of a sleepy holling rip when wenkel t a hoffman 
the sandman so in this way these are the names of some points uh, uh, of uh, these uh, era when the romantic season is spread and now example of romantic nature edge allen po the raven points 1845 this is the important thing so i can explain to you with the help of this these are the some more about the romanticism now i explain to you in short and you can uh, go the full syllabus from my english magazine my blogger poet edgar allan poe the raven poems 1845 poems is about a man pining for his lost love lenor caught in a state between wakefulness and sleep the man notices a raven perching perching on a bust over the door he begins talking to this bird who only ever utters the same word in response never more the me thought the air grew denser perfumed from an unseen censer swung by seraphim whose foot fall whose foot fall whose uh now swing by stephen whose foot falls uh, tinkled on the tufted floor wretch i cried the god hath lent thee by these angels he hath sent the respite respite and nepenthe from thy memories of lenor quelf o quelf quaf this kind of nepenthe and forget this lost lenor quoth the raven never more slowly the narrator loses his grip on sanity and sees the bird as a supernatural visitor in the above stanza he hallucinates thinking angels have sent the raven to make him forget lenor mary shelley frankenstein Shelley's 1880 novel centers on uh, Dr. Victor Frankenstein and his attempts to reanimate a corpse after his first successful experiment. Frankenstein reflects on the creation. No one can conceive the variety of feelings which bore me onwards like a hurricane. in the first enthusiasm of success life and death appear to me idle bounds which i should first break through and pour a torrent of light into our dark world a new spice is world bless me as its creator and source many happy and excellent natures would owe their being to me no father could claim claim the gratitude of his child so completely as i should deserve theirs pursuing these reflections i thought that if i could bestow animation upon lifeless